Okay, so I did a video a while ago about the Big Green Tech um, Battle Focus, the um, closed loop servos, and I also mentioned that I've been having problems with them. The displays have been messing up, and I finally got a fix, figured out a fix for it. Uh, also, uh, yes, I know my glass is broken. Um, I, yeah, I need to get a new piece. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what that display does. And that glass is enough. It's big enough for uh, just a test print. So I'll show you what it does, and then I'll show you the fix. So I'm just going to get a print started here. And... You'll notice that um, right now it looks fine. You know the display looks good, but as soon as that thing starts to print, um, watch what happens. All right, so it just started homing, and there it goes. The font, the text started messing up. And it was fine for several minutes, you know, while everything is warming up and starting. But as soon as those stepper motors started moving, it started glitching. And um, as soon as it actually starts printing, uh, it'll completely go blank. There it went. Went blank, flickers a little bit. And, um, and the other one, you can't see it, but the Y one back there does the exact same thing. So let me show you what the fix is, and then we'll uh, show you how it, uh, how it works after we fix it. All right, so the way we're going to fix this is with a uh, capacitor. And we'll get that to focus. Focus. This is a 35 volt, 33 microfarad capacitor. Now, 35 volts is way more than enough. Uh, I'm only using this one because it's what I had. It's, I mean, I mean, I have several, but it's just what I grabbed first. So I grabbed it and I tried it just by holding it onto a couple of pins and it worked. And I had a couple of them, so might as well use it. I'm sure uh, just about any capacitance value around that would work fine. You know, anywhere probably from 10 up to 50 would probably work perfectly fine, even more or less, and that would probably be fine. Uh, again, 35 volts, way more than enough. Uh, you know, 16, 12 would probably be, be plenty. But what we're going to do is we are going to solder this onto the display board. And you'll notice on the display board, we have ground and power right there. Notice we have a, a ground on the capacitor. So I'm going to solder that right across there. I'll cut the leg shorter. So it'll probably be about it'll probably be about like that. So um, let me cut those legs down. I'll solder that on, and then I'll show you what it looks like after I get that fixed. All right, and that's it. Soldered in place. Again, make sure the negatives on the ground, and uh, that should be all it takes. So let me plug this back in, and we'll see how the printer works. All right, so it's getting close. Uh, to start printing. Temperature is getting close. Um, so there's the uh, capacitor installed. Kind of sticks up a little bit. Um, I don't know. It's okay though. So I've been using these for several months now and they've been working pretty well. The only issue has been the display glitching out and going blank. Um, now I have noticed that um, two times I had a very slight uh, print shift even with using these servos. And I'm kind of hoping that maybe it was because of the glitching of the, uh, of the display in the unit here. Um, I mean, only time will tell if, uh, if I get any more print shifts because of that or not. All right, it's starting to print here. Uh, notice no flickering, no change of the font, no glitching. It is staying you know, exactly as it should. So, um, yeah, pretty pleased with that. So hopefully this is helpful for some of you. Um, now, when I was testing the capacitor, I was just kind of holding it there in place with my hand. 
uh, while it would start running. That's how I kind of knew it was going to work. And while I was doing that, um, you know, taking it on and off, I actually induced a, uh, a print shift on that axis. So that's what I'm kind of hoping, or why I'm hoping that those two random shifts that I got were because of a, the glitch with the display. So again, that's going to be hard to duplicate. We'll just kind of have to see see how it goes with time. Um, but yeah, it, um, it definitely would have been completely blank by now. So it's uh, holding steady. So that, that worked. So again, hopefully this helps some of you. Um, hopefully you found it uh, useful and you can, it's an easy enough thing to do. Um, and you know, just to show how this whole thing works, if it does block, see I'm holding it there. As soon as I let go, it just goes right back to where it was. That's a small part to check. But see, it just kind of went back, I'm holding it and it goes back. So it does work, it still works, display works, everything's good. Hopefully I won't get any more print shift. Um, of course I said that a couple of months ago too. So anyways, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm just rambling on and this video is plenty long enough, even though it's one of my shorter ones. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching.